Are you looking to disenchant your Ilganoth and get that sweet 1600 dust? Well, let me go ahead and stop you guys because Ilganoth isn't going anywhere. That's right, I'm telling you guys to hold on to your Ilganoff because this card is still good and is still seeing play not only on ladder, but it's also seeing a lot of success in the uh, the most recent Masters Tour. Not only did Orange uh, go 8-0 with this particular lineup that I'm going to show you guys on the screen right here, that does include this deck, but Frozen as well went 8-0 with this particular lineup with the exact same Demon Hunter. So yeah, needless to say, this Demon Hunter archetype is pretty good. Now I'm not showing the exact same uh, list as these guys, but I will be covering the cards uh, that are slightly different and might it might give you guys a little bit of a reason on whether or not you want to keep or exclude some of these cards. But just know that Ilganoth Lifesteal Demon Hunter is still a very viable OTK deck. So if you guys want to spam some OTK Demon Hunter wins, I would hold on to this legendary for a little bit longer. But comparing the two lists from what OTK Demon Hunter used to be with a four mana Ilganoth and what Ilganoth is now at six mana, you can kind of see that we're back to running Skull and we're actually running Jace. Dark Weaver as a legitimate card in order to give us a second win con. Since Ilganoth is 6 mana and it does make the OTK a little bit harder to assemble, uh, Jace as, uh, acts as another win con, so that way you can use your Furies, your other form of weapon buffs, as well as like Fell Barrages and even Lifesteal in order to give you ways of being able to survive, deal damage, and even, you know, De uh, develop onto the board a little bit. Uh, it's kind of interesting that Orange and Frozen have decided to use Metamorphosis, but I believe that is because of its interactions with Jace. And kind of like what I was saying earlier, if you can't kill somebody with your Ilganoth OTK, or at least get them to that 30 damage mark, you can at least deal damage over the course of a couple of turns, and then do like a small Ilganoth combo in order to kill your opponent. So this deck has a few different ways of being played, and it's not just like the old Ilganoth OTK where you just wanted to go for the combo, and that was the only way that you could win. I wouldn't call this a control deck, but this feels like the most mid-range OTK Demon Hunter that we've ever seen. Some of the new cards that make it in this list are Fell Barrage, Chaos Leech, as well as Fell Gorger. These cards really work well in the style of Demon Hunter deck because not only is it more lifesteal cards to give you the potential OTK, but you have more cards that synergize very, very well with the, with the whole archetype. Fell Gorger is a great way of being able to get those uh, key Fell cards that you need from your deck like Immolation Aura, Fell Barrage, and really all of your spells are pretty much Fell. Let's, let's just, you know, knock that out right here and right now. The only one that isn't is probably Ildari Studies, uh, the Sigil, and Skull but those are fine to not get discounted. You'll be able to get them later on. Uh, but the biggest thing about this deck is really the Jace. Like, I'm not kidding when I say that this card is actually the reason why I believe this deck is top tier because you have multiple ways of being able to, uh, to close out games now. There's lots of ways of being able to fail skulls in order to miscalculate damage off of your Moogs. But if you're playing this deck properly, that shouldn't be something you should be worrying about. But just know that this deck has ways of failing and still winning because of it because you literally have all these cards that can deal damage. So in case you're wanting to play a deck that, you know, isn't as unforgiving, you can definitely pick up this deck. But OTK Demon Hunter, I don't feel like is really going to go anywhere because Ilganoth being a 4-8 is another reason why this deck could be potentially good. I have literally seen screenshots of people tempoing this card on turn six turn seven in matchups where their opponents don't have cards because every single hit into this card is going to deal eight damage to your opponent so it's just like i i <laughs> you kind of see me kind of struggling to, to put the words together on whether or not ilganoth is like really really good at six mana but there are some cases to where he's better there are some cases to where he's worse but in the cases where he feels better it just gives this deck a whole new way of being able to be played so if you have a, an opinion on otk demon hunter right now you might want to uh look at this deck before you really evaluate what ilganoth can do at six mana Looking at the differences in our list, I will just go ahead and tell you that if you have Metamorphosis, I would just keep it. I don't think this is necessarily one of the cards that you need to dust, although I am kind of upset that I did get rid of it because uh, I had a golden copy that I just needed the dust for, and I thought this card was going to be busted when it first came out, and then it died for a year, so that's the reason why I don't have it. But if you guys have Metamorphosis, I would highly recommend putting it in the deck. At first, when I saw this deck, I was like, why would we ever run this card? But now after seeing Orange uh, actually play this deck on stream, I am 100% converted. If I had Metamorphosis, I would be playing it right now. So I would suggest putting it in your deck over like the I-Beam, for example. I-Beam is something that you can find all the Ildari studies and you just really don't need to tech it uh, in the deck. It, like there's only 30 slots and those really do make a difference in Hearthstone. So I would say that if you're wanting to play this style of deck, play oranges and frozens list but for the clips coming up ahead i was playing this version of the deck so that way you guys can kind of get an idea of where this deck's power level actually resides 
But I hope you guys enjoyed my take on the new Lifesteal OTK Demon Hunter. Ilganoth isn't going anywhere, and hopefully after uh, you guys have watched this video, I have convinced you that this card is still good not to dust it, because if you want to play Demon Hunter, this is probably going to still be one of the most consistent ways of being able to win with this deck, uh, and just win with the class in my opinion, because Brute Demon Hunter is a very uh, high rolly deck. This feels like a deck where you're more in control of what can happen, and unless you get like really bad skull discounts or something like that, there's not a lot of RNG that you can really blame in this deck it just really comes down to how uh experienced you are as a pilot so check out the most recent masters tours games with orange check out uh a lot of different games with, from players with this uh, from pro players with this deck because trust me ilganoff don't dust it you are going to regret it if you end up dusting him and if I convinced you guys to hold on to your Ilganoth just a little bit longer, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel in order to be notified about any other future uploads we happen to come out with. The deck code is down below, so that way you guys can see not only my list, but Orange's and Frozen's list. Again, I would highly recommend playing theirs more than mine. And as always, if you want to see these clips live, we stream at twitch.tv slash Clark Hillscream. I hope you guys enjoy proving that Ilganoth can still burn your opponent's veins like nothing else. And we'll see you for the next video. All right, well, we just do the typical thing. I would like to actually keep Moarg and Felscreen Blast for, like, proactive turns, but that seems a little much. I totally for, uh, totally get the reference. <laughs> Good. Yo, Saucy! The sauciest of mailmans. Yo, thanks for that vouch the other day on Twitter. I really appreciate it, Keck W. <laughs> Hope it's going good, Saucy. Hope the, uh, the legends of uh, Runeterra have been treating you as they should have. And we're just, yeah, we're playing some interesting Hearthstone decks. There's a lot of weird things going on in the meta right now. And, yeah, it's nutty. <laughs> oh, hey there. Good to have you here, Saucy. Thanks for, thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, my name is Clark. I play Hearthstone. Um, I go for highlights. That's really all you gotta know. I'm all about the juicy, uh, the juicy combos and the juicy, uh, moments at the end of the day. So if you, if you like, uh, if you like hype, you're in the right place. Let me see here. Uh, I'd hate to coin out a weapon to kill a 2-2. Two -two, but it's like, this is gonna wake up anyway. Don't really have a better use for my coin, so. Don't like it, but we gotta do it. Sometimes the hardest things in life are the things that you don't enjoy. But it still has to get done the juice <laughs> yeah the juice to keep me going man you guys should have seen me an hour ago i was just getting absolutely stomped on by rng and you could see the pain in my eyes oh hey that i-beam still costs one mana buddy that i-beam still costs one mana no matter how many cult neophytes you play so i think this is a g -g 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 -g. do i kill the the one one probably not Kill that, play Chaos Leech on this. Got plenty of healing. Jace is available later. Yeah. I don't think I want to swing the weapon though. Doesn't feel necessary to kill a 1-1. One -one. Yeah, hit me for five, but I'm gaining five back. All good. I didn't, uh, okay, I did not have a very large rant. I, I literally was describing the details of the situation and it was very much in a rant-like format where I was not happy about the circumstance of which we were explaining what happened. But yes, Mind Render Lucia is still a card that needs to get uh, obliterated from the game. Yeah, I guess it was pretty huge. I literally said fuck a card. <laughs> but seriously though, dude, I hate Mind Render. It's the worst card in the game. My last stream, I wouldn't be surprised if I complained about it for six hours. <laughs> Yeah, Saucy, did you did you see that I uh, I did a 25-hour stream last week? I did a 25-hour stream last week. Yes, I am still I am alive. I survived. Just barely though. <laughs> Just barely did I survive. Playing this could play into the Oh, I fucked up. Oh, god damn it. Oh, Oh, why did I do this? Why do I do this to myself? Why am I my own worst enemy? That was so much life that I just lost for nothing. And now he's gonna top deck Rhino. He's gonna top deck Rhino, make me completely. Or, or that. Or literally that. 
Yeah, I, I threw away this game. <laughs> I am gonna apparently throw away this game because I am a dummy. Could have maybe played Ilganoff for tempo, but if he plays the Rhino, what's even the point? In fact, actually, no, that wasn't Ilganoff tempo play. I'm so used to this being a 2-6. Come on, play a minion. Play a minion. I dare you. It's not gonna play a minion, chat. Well, now I have to Artificer into this. I think I literally have to do it again. Yeah, I literally have to do it again. This is a very sad existence that I found myself in right now. Ilganoff could have dealt eight. I could have dealt... Let's see, that was two. Four, another eight. That could have been 24 all in one turn. But then I wouldn't have the healing to survive. So now I play Jace and hopefully all is forgiven. Hopefully now that I've misplayed so often, Jace can just give me all the healing I need. Because I've literally played almost all my healing. In fact, hold on a minute. Have I played all my healing? I have one Chaos Leech left. Bam, money. Wait a minute. I need, wait, I needed healing. Okay, it's still gonna give me healing. It's just gonna kill my own minion in the process. I don't really know if that was better. I really wish that order could have been, could have been different to where my minion could have survived. Yeah, I think I still food this game. That hero power just got me on the clock. All right, I'm just going to hope and pray. Going to hope and pray I draw the Chaos Leech because then that'll be lethal. Actually, that won't be lethal. It'll be pretty close, though. This into 10, 8, 18. That's 22. Wow, really? Really, dude? He has to hit with his face. This actually is probably still fine. This actually might still be fine. This literally might be okay, guys. I think this was like the worst game I've ever played, but I think it might be okay. Oh my god, that wins! This was the worst game I have played ever. <laughs> this was easily the worst game I've ever played, and it, and it still won. It was honestly because of Jace, though. Like, even though I played that game very terribly, Jace just pulled it out. So, <laughs> apparently he might be a good card. I forget, I forget his name. But I'm glad that your bird knows that the hype is here. Oh, his name is Jace? Hold on a minute. Are you aware of Jace Darkweaver? New card, by the way, uh, Saucy. In case you need a Saucy Demon Hunter deck. Yeah, their new card named Jace Darkweaver. Hey, Jace, I hope you're enjoying the stream, my bird friend. <laughs> Jace from Magic. I'm gonna look that up. Jace from Magic. Magic the Gathering. Jace Bellerin. Okay. What is this card's ability? I think I've actually seen this card. Yeah, the Mind Sculptor. Each play okay, so he's a planeswalker. Each player draws a card. Uh, target player draws a card. Target player puts the top. T whoa, wait a minute. The top 20 of her library into his or her deck. Whoa, whoa, what is this? What is this graveyard nonsense? <laughs> I'd see, that seems pretty. Uh, I don't know how good getting rid of your cards is in, in Magic, but I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's pretty powerful. 20 cards though the top 20 cards three mana card okay yeah sure yeah spicy boy <laughs> very spicy boy jason is uh the bonkers hero that keeps the uh that keeps getting reprinted okay so he's just that good how okay so why is getting rid of your cards good in this deck obviously okay so you have, you have to invest a lot into it in order to get to this ability in the first place but what makes it so good? Like, what cards work with destroying your deck? Kind of just looking around here. Jace, Mirror Mage. When Jace, Mirror Mage into the battlefield, if Jace was ki uh, was Wait, was kicked? What is kicked? I've never heard of that in Magic the Gathering. 
I played some decks, but I've never heard kick. Is that just tapped, I guess? Create a token that's a copy of Jace Mirror Mage, except that's not a legendary. And starting royalty is one. You can scry two. Or draw a card, reveal it, remove a number of loyalty counters equal to the, co uh, the card's converted mana cost from Jace Mirror Mage. Okay, that's pretty cool. Look up uh, La Laboratory uh, Maniac. All right, am I, about to, am I about to see some spice? Am I about to see some spice here? If you would draw a card while your library has no co Oh, okay, okay. Okay, it's an OTK. It just, it, or just, I, not even an OTK, it's just an I win the game. Okay, that that's that's spicy. I love this. This reminds me of Exodia Dex almost. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna play the other Fell Gorger. I could kill that. Some of the 2 2. Eh, it seems like a win. Don't get the Vine Shield. Okay, I got Rush. Yeah, this does kind of look like a Warlock card. But, like, I know that blue in Magic is all about, like, drawing or cycling. They're, like, mages almost. With, like, not necessarily, like, burn damage, but they just got a lot of cycle. Utility, I think, is the word I'm looking for. Draws and tricks. <laughs> tricks because it's, it's very, uh, it's very tricky. Someone just, someone queue up a DMC tricky. To walk around, to walk around, that's right on time, it's tricky. Gotta make room for the skull, though. Make room for that skull for massive plays. What if I get rid of Moarg? To kill this board. Doesn't really seem that worth it. But it's either that or I Immolation Aura into Felscream, which also isn't really that bad. Actually, I think I'll take that. Cleanest way of killing the board. I still keep my minions, and I have skull play now. Yeah, this works out. Still got Moarg. Eye beams closer to Outcast. This just seems to work. Is magic fun? I've never tried. Yeah, magic's pretty fun. I mean, if you like card games, like, magic's pretty much what popularized card games. Like, it's, it came out in, like, the 90s, and there just weren't that many, like, combat card games. So I would, I mean, if you like Hearthstone and you like games like Hearthstone, you will like Magic the Gathering. It just takes a little bit of a, uh, it is a bit pricey and it takes, it's like the Hearthstone as well to the point where you have to know what you're going up against. But the more you play it, I, I think the more you will enjoy it. It is, I, I would say that Magic the Gathering is not a children's card game. It is very much a card game made by adults for adults. <laughs> I would not go that far. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Jace. Jace, baby. Oh, five mana. Hold on a minute. Is that just good? AoE, draw. I might have to... Wait, hold on a minute. If I play this... No, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. That does not work. It'd be awesome if it did, but it does not work. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and play the Chaos Leech. So that way Jace gets really buff. The big boy. Made by adults for adults sounds like. Oh yeah, it does sound like that. I mean, card game porn, I guess. Out of context, that sounds terrible, but it's just a card game that's just so satisfying to play. Um, I, I, it's times like these that I'm reminded of a of a um of a Yu-Gi-Oh abridged uh, moment, and it's like, I'm sorry, Mai, but I never make love before a card game, or after one. The only time for making love is during one. <laughs> okay, uh, Jace, don't fail me. Don't fail me, please. Uh, how many card draw do I get? Two, yeah, two chaos strikes. This should this should work out as long as the Ilda, or as long as the um hell screen blast targets here. Money, yes. Oh, dude, let's go. That was nice. Look at, look at all this attack now. And they said that Jace might have to wait one more expansion before he's playable. Nah, y'all just sleeping on him. Oh, maybe I should have waited. Maybe I should have waited, so we're gonna go for some risky plays here. Gonna go for the big whiskey. That 
was that was nice. <laughs> that was nice. Let's see if I get Ilganov, is that actually lethal? Uh that's 15, yeah, that's actually exact lethal on turn eight if I hit Ilganov. Aw. Okay, Dark Weaver, you did you did your job. You did your job. <laughs> he did his job. Uh okay, I do not have the win yet. However, to observe, uh, wait, I definitely want to play Skull, but I can't play Weapon and Fury. I, grow I think I have to say goodbye to a uh, to an Arcanist, which is fine in this situation. I could also throw out a Moarg, but that's my last Moarg. I don't really care about this card. Money, as I said, there is nothing. There is nothing that is better than printing money in a card game. <laughs> There's no way that he can win. This this game is this game is beyond Dunzo. <laughs> this game is beyond Dunzo. This was pretty disgusting, man. Pretty good disgusting look at what this deck can do. Completely obliterating the shaman. Ooh, he played his Brakan. He played his Brakan. Look at that. Look at that value. Look at that value. He played Brakan, guys. He played Brakan. Just look at all that value that he just didn't get. <laughs> yeah, Demon Hunter's still pretty disgusting. Demon Hunter's still pretty disgusting, apparently. Even though Ilganoth being 4 mana was really, really good, even at 6 mana, still a good card. I don't think I keep any of these cards. Dude, Skull loves finding its way to my outcast positions. Let's go, dude. We shall prevail. Oh, whoa, Eddie actually brought Taunt Druid. I might have to play some Taunt Druid. There's a lot of people talking, like, a lot of good stuff about this deck. I might have to give it a try. I mostly like it for the fact that it has Graybow in it. A deck that has Graybow automatically gets bonus points from Clark. You don't see a lot of Graybow gamers out there. And now there's one being played at the Masters Tour. Yeah, Eddie won zero. Eddie would be another player I would always want to root for. Oh man. You guys gotta hurry up. Would you guys ever be interested in like watching like Masters Tours or like Grand Masters games and get my cat like my commentation on, on it? Because that's always something I've considered, but I don't know how many people actually enjoy uh watching like competitive Hearthstone like that. You be interested? Okay. I'm not saying that I want to do it right now, but I was just talking about like in the future. Okay, last time we kept philosophy, it really worked well. I have my coin turn four play. Just never thought about it. There's a lot. There's some streamers that have done it before. There's a lot of grandmasters that review their games, so they'll go through the footage live on stream. But there's some other people like D Money who will like kind of just like watch some of the games, just comment on it a little bit. So I got my turn four. I think I'm just gonna do this into Fury. Make his HP harder to manage. Turn four skull. Easy. Let's hit Ilganoff, uh, Moarg, and Felscreen Blast. Three mana Moarg into two zero mana Moargs. Okay, that's a problem. It's kind of a problem. I don't have weight. I don't have glide. Guys, I don't have glide. Clearly, I'm playing the wrong Demon Hunter deck. Alright. Oh, another skull? Um, That could be pretty good, actually. Play both skulls before turn five. Uh, let's hit... If I hit the other sigil, that'd be the best. But if I hit, like, Blood Mage or any two drop... I can play it in combination with this, and I still have to get like, lucky in order to get rid of my hand. 
But I mean, of all cards for a skull to hit, I mean, this is pretty good that this came last. Did you see the uh, NB trans flag Valera and I made in Discord? I don't think I actually saw that. Okay, so we got lucky with a with barrage. Just hit him in the face. Still no Illy Billy, but I did get a, um, a zero mana. I did get a zero mana uh, lifesteal card. Let me check the Discord real quick. Oh, hey, apparently uh, there's actually going to be... Dude, hold on a minute. So the IUPUI uh, esports group actually meets up on Fridays from noon to midnight. And I could potentially stream from there. If they have like the facility, like they have a facility. I've seen the room. They just whether or not they have the programs downloaded. Won't be a meeting on the first week. Okay, cool. I, I, I'm totally like, I totally want to come by and see. That'd be kind of cool to stream from college. Stream from the dorm rooms of IPUI. <laughs> yeah, perfect timing. Let me actually check the Discord real quick. Uh, bam. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, there's the Ilganoth. So we'll just go. We'll just go for discounts. I almost have enough to kill him next turn. I just need minions on the field. This was actually a demon. I could have copied it. I didn't think about that until now. I pretty much have, like, all the cards I could ask for, though. Do I just hit him with the Chaos Strike now? This is, like, this is so much damage with Ilganoth. Anything that buffs my attack. Yeah, I should have. I should have just played the other philosophy. Just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. All right, he better win. He better win this turn. just so much damage like I have three six at least nine plus my weapon nine plus so that's actually exactly 17 and he's gonna be damaging himself in the process so it's like I definitely think I'm gonna have enough how do you lady press store them wait what the two death wing came from the top into Alex into Alex into Cardar Drake Ooh. Lady Prestor an Elemental Shaman. Okay, so, um, uh, Joker, what he's talking about is that there's a Demon Hunter deck out there to where, um, there's a 2-3 that reduces your hero power by 1, and if you play Lady Prestor and hit Koldara Drake, you can, uh, OTK with it. It's essentially APM Demon Hunter. <laughs> I actually made a Prestor deck for the quest, and I'm running the Gandling package. Ooh. Wait, you did that in Priest? Oh, okay, you did that as Priest. Okay, hold on a minute. So you didn't even do, like, the Koldara Drake. Wait, hold on a minute. Yeah, Koldara Drake still works really well with the hero power, though. Like, there's not that many ways of making it zero, but... Oh, dude, what the hell happened? All right, tell me that you went overboard on damage. 21. I need a Moarg off of this. Okay, well, now it gives me the Moark. Okay, so, um... How do I deal with this, then? What's the best course of action? Ilganoth is not lethal, I don't think. Three... Wait, hold on. Two, four, seven, that's 14. Wait, that's enough. Right? Is that enough? Enough. 
No, it's not. Crap, what do I do here? Um, I have this into this to clear. Alright, this can work out. This can work out. I'm at 29. He can't just like full on Tamsin me, I don't think. He has the reward, but unless he has exactly like Handigul Dan. Like, yeah, because both Steeler Souls are gone. I don't think he can win now. I don't think he can win now. He can play the Tamsin. But that's just GG. Dude, this deck feels very strong. I Granted, I did kind of high roll this game, but getting both skulls played before turn six. But still though, dude. I'm not dead. Try as hard as you may, I'm not dying here. I, yeah, because I can't use Moarg. Moarg isn't enough, right? If I played Moarg, I wouldn't have... Yeah, I wouldn't have enough damage, so I have to do it this way. I actually didn't have lethal of Moarg. <laughs> Literally didn't have lethal of Moarg, so I had to go about it a different way. But yeah, dude, that's just kind of the power of this deck. Like, you don't need Moarg sometimes. You don't need spell damage. Like, it just seems like this is like a controlled demon hunter with, like, a legitimate win con. Feels good. Not everybody plays it, though. Maybe if, uh, the Fel Barrage would have been worth the keep against Aggro Priest. It might have been worth the keep. Oh my god, double Moarg? Okay, this is, this is pretty nasty. I, I might just have to play control here. This might just be controlled demon hunter time. Uh, okay. All right. This is illegal. This is actually illegal. I guess that was pretty good. That's why I should have kept it in my mulligan. Now I can just hit it with the weapon. No problem. Although I did just take four here. I get to kill this. If he has raised dead, I'm gonna be very upset. I really need a um Alright. Call me crazy, but I really wanna hit Eld like I wanna hit something like Fell Screen Blast in order to kill this. It's probably not worth it though. It's probably not worth it. It's not worth going for the for the possibility in order to deny raised dead. Because, like, if I would have hit Fell Screen Blast and then I would have killed this, then there would have been a possibility he didn't hit the attendant. But if he's got it, then he's just got it. Okay, he doesn't have it. Cool. This works out. Handjob Paladin is still viable. I mean, it just works, man. Oh my god, really? He hit it off the draw. He's not playing it, though. Okay, this works out. Play both Molarks before I get value out of Skull. That sucks. Uh, I mean, hmm. what's the play here? I have a few options. I can kill the one for an I Beam. That makes his attendant play absolutely garbage. We'll just refresh the board, and then I can Molarg Molarg uh, Immolation Aura. I, I like this play. It just seems like what I have to do. Yeah, for once, the, sh the, the priest portrait actually makes sense. 
<laughs> yeah, there, there she goes. There she goes again. Can't wait to get back on the road again. I'm honestly just gonna do this in order to make room for like the potential Moarg plays. That 1-3 is so dumb. I actually think that this 1-3 is an incredibly balanced card. Oh wow, what the hell. And the reason why I think it's balanced is because, um... The reason I think it's balanced is because you really have to, um... Like you can't play it when you're behind. You can only really play it when you're ahead. Otherwise it just doesn't work. You're wrong, Keg W. Like, I, I, it sucks when it, when the one three comes down so early. Like, it's not like Mind Render Lucia. It's not like Mind Render Lucia where it makes completely un, unwinnable games into absolutely holy shit you're gonna win every time games. Oh come on. Okay, I have to kill that. I have to find a way to kill that, which means I have to throw my Moargs into it. Which is, I get, not what I want to do, but I mean, what else am I supposed to do? Glide, not worth. Not worth. I will take the mana discount for next turn. But this must die. I'm starting to run out of options here. So now I can play Skull for five. Yeah, Lucio's just dumb in every deck. It's just, lol, look at me, I won. <laughs> I played the card, even though I didn't play it right, I'm still gonna win the game. But I think that Void Touch to Ten is actually a fine card. I think it's fine. Oh boy. Yep, has to kill the Moargs. I agree with that. Oh, dude, this game's over. <laughs> this game's actually just done. Get rid of that in order to take less damage. I'm gonna take damage from this anyway. This just plays AoE and gives me healing. Alright, Shadow Priest. Sorry, buddy. That's right. Oh, that's right. Play cards. Play all the cards you can. Watch how much of a difference it's not going to make. <laughs> Alright, I got a lot of healing here. Oh my oh my god, I got a lot of healing here. All right, so Jace, please don't hurt yourself. It's actually okay. Hold on, man. This might I might have okay. I went in too hard. I went in too hard here. Yeah, this is the only. Yeah, this was a, this was a mistake. I should have played the one one. Maybe the one one could have ate up some damage. Oh well. Look at all. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Jace, just a good card. He's just a good card, dude. This makes it to where you just don't have. <laughs> wow, really? R yes, yes, really. Yes, really. GG. Play your tiny fin. I don't care. Buff your tiny fin. I don't care. I could probably tempo Ilganoff and you have no way of beating it. Because if you attack into it, you take damage. So hold on a minute. That just might be the play. That just seriously might be the play. He attacks into it, he's dead. <laughs> oh my god. If he attacks into it, he's dead. I'm keeping the tiny fin alive for uh, for respect. I respect my tiny fins. And that's GG. There's no card you can find that'll kill this Ilganoff. <laughs> yep. Bam. I love it when a Shadow Priest does it to himself. 
Yeah, dude, like, this deck just feels super good. I'm glad I picked up this deck. Like, I just picked it up, like, out of nowhere. And now we're winning a lot. 